Good. Y'all doing all right? Because I, I got to check on y'all, man, because sometimes when news like this hits, it, it could throw your whole day off. Ravens, I ain't letting y'all throw my whole day off. My day been going good, and it's going to continue to go good. Even though this news ain't the best news in the world, we still good over here. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Y'all keep your heads up. It'll be okay. So, earlier, we dropped a video. Of course, we all had got the news that a Ravens player uh, had been placed, or he was, he had not been placed yet, but he had got COVID. And that player ended up being Jalen Ferguson. So Jalen Ferguson ended up being placed on a COVID-19 reserve list. But he wasn't alone. Uh, because when one player on a team catches COVID, what the team has to do is a thing called contact tracing. And what that contact tracing is, is when they find out who was around the player, how long they were around the player, how much they were around this player who got COVID, because you are a close contact. Therefore, we got to put you down for a little bit too. And that leaves uh, Brandon Williams, Justin Matabike, uh, and Justin Houston. They are all out for this game against the Detroit Lions. Now, that leaves the Ravens very thin on the interior of the defensive line. And because that leaves you with just Calais Campbell, Broderick Washington, uh, J Justin, Jelly Ellis, and that's it. Now, of course, you're expecting to probably make a call up or something, but... Right now, that's it. And even if they do make a call-up, it's still thin. Why? Because, remember, Derek Wolf is he's been out, too. He's been out. Pernell McPhee, Jeff Zrebik said he might be out because he's dealing with a shoulder injury. So they are very, very thin on the interior of the defensive line. And then guess what? The pass rush. Adafi Away, he got AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week. You're going to have to make another appearance on that list, my friend, because Justin Houston will not be opposite of you this week. Tyus Bowser will, and Dalen Hayes should be making his debut this week, but Justin Houston is out. So that puts more pressure on the young guys, and they got to step it up that much more. Now, um, it's important that the Ravens offense, because Lamar Jackson, he returned to practice today. Hollywood, he returned to practice today, but that was expected for both of them. But the Ravens offense, but it's not underappreciated. We definitely appreciate them practicing. Uh, but the Ravens offense, they have that much more pressure put on them now. Why? Because your offense has to score that much more now. Because you need to dictate this game. You don't need the Lions controlling how this game goes. Mm -mm, no, you cannot let the Lions be in control. Because you're thin on a defensive line and you want to make them as one-dimensional as possible. You want it to be to where uh, we watching the game as fans and we see Jared Goff do a play action. And we're like, why is he doing play action? We know he's throwing. We need it to be like that because that defensive line is very thin. And th this gives the Lions an advantage on the ground because those defensive linemen, they get tired. They, and, and now since they get tired, it's going to be harder to who you're going to sub them in for. Who are you, you going to let spell him? Who, who, who is going to come in and pick up the slack if a defensive lineman slacks off or is tired or exhausted or whatnot? So this is why you, you, you got to, that offense got to put up some big points this game. You have to. Now, this news, it was not, definitely wasn't the worst news in the world. Um, and the fact that the Ravens are playing Detroit, even though it's any given Sunday. So not sleeping on Detroit, but them being... In the shape that they're in, it does help, but Ravens still got to bring it. But at the same time, this is not the worst news that we could have received. And I think a lot of us Ravens fans, when we saw this, it was almost expected. And we were like, oh, okay, all right, cool. It wasn't like, oh, my goodness, it's, it's, it sucks now. The news ain't good. But at the same time, for every all this injury news that we done been through, for every person that the Ravens done put on injury reserve this year, I think we've developed this sort of callous and this sort of like numbness to a lot of this injury news. And and, and, and we, we almost like, it's like, okay, what's next? Well, what's it going to be next? And, and just like the Ravens with this new saying that they got now, ball more. <laughs> and I love that, man. But now the players that are available, the players that are practicing, the players that are playing, they're going to have to ball that much more. Because you got a lot, you got a lot of guys out. A whole lot of guys out. Now, injury news. It wasn't all bad. Because for the first time this regular season, he practiced in full. Who? Jimmy Smith. 
Welcome back, Jimmy. So Jeff Zarevic did say that Jimmy is expected to play uh, in this game. And also Deshaun Elliott. He came back. He returned to practice too. So another boost. So it's not all bad news. And again, going back to the guys that are out due to the COVID. Again, Jalen Ferguson, Matt Abike, Brandon Williams, uh, Justin Houston. It should just be for one game. This should be it. Then once they take all them negative tests and whatnot, they can come back and be better than ever. Um, but it's, it should just be for one game. So we, we have been so used to this offseason. Oh, this guy's out. Oh, man. Okay. Out for the year. 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 Injury reserve. Injury reserve. Blah, 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 blah. But so this is why this news. Yeah, it stings a bit. But the timing of it. Not that people being out is ever a good thing because it's not. And something that I talked about, uh, I remember in some questions from subscribers, somebody said, well, what, what's the biggest thing you could see holding the Ravens back this year? And I said, possibly coaching, but also health. That's the biggest thing, man. Biggest thing. And health has really just taken a toll on this team. But. Even with the guys that we lost, and we will lost some very great players, Ravens are still in a position to make some noise. They showed that against the Raiders, who are a good team. They showed that against the Chiefs, who are a good team. Both of those games li literally came down to the wire. Ravens right now, they could be two. They could be zero and two. They could be zero and two. They could have lost both of those games, but they could also be two and zero. Just one play here, one play there, one less turnover here, one less turnover there, and they could be undefeated. So Ravens have shown, again, that they can rock with anybody despite everything that's going on. And now you're going up against a, a lesser opponent, but again, you cannot sleep on them. I th still think Ravens should be in good shape, but again, offense, r running points up, man. Run the points up. Run it up. R run them up big time. Because you're going to need to. Make them one-dimensional. Make them have to get past happy. Let, and this will be a good game. Let Jimmy Smith get his legs back under him. Let Tay-Tay get it going again. Anthony Avery, Hump. Let all them boys have to do a lot of work. Not the interior defensive lineman, though. And now, hey, Dalen Dip Hayes. Now he, he ain't going to have no choice but to be. Earlier we talked about. Like with Dalen Hayes, he's like, oh, he might get a couple snaps here and there on defense. But now, yeah, he, he definitely will. Because first it was just Ferg that was out. But now it's Justin Houston and Ferg. So Dalen Hayes will be out there. You will see that 59 for sure. And, of course, you'll see the 99 and the 54 and whatnot. But, yeah, man. So, again, the, the news is bad, but it's not the worst news in the world. Especially given what Ravens' current situation is with all the injuries. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all are having a great Friday. I know this kind of threw a little dent in there and mess it up a little bit, but it'll be okay. I appreciate you. You have a great day. And just like a long list of Ravens are when it comes to the game against the Lions this coming Sunday, we out.